Welcome to Drum Mosaics tutorial for the Try Before You Buy free sample pack available at loopdeloops.com. You can check out the site by clicking on the link below. Today we are going to explore the sample pack using Acid. All these files have been recorded and constructed in SoundForge where they were acidized in 4-4 single measures. In the pack we have one free file from each of the six categories available in the Drum Mosaics sound library. The library was developed to offer authentic, individually recorded drums in an acidized wave format. Each file contains many samples of recorded percussive melodies of different dynamic ranges, enabling you to layer and create new and original percussive ideas. The Try Before You Buy free sample pack contains some wonderful samples for you to use to create with. The score sheet catalog, which can be found at loopdeloops.com, is the map to the contents of Drum Mosaics, where all the different file groupings are on display and you can locate a file grouping quickly and easily. Of course, reading notation values helps, and there is a reference sheet for anybody who's interested in educating themselves. To be honest, if you choose to ignore the score sheets when looking for anything, it'll take you a while to find what you're looking for. On the other hand, if you are into grab bag and just opening files and trying out whatever, then go ahead and have fun with it. But the score sheet catalog is the map book to drum mosaics. Let's take a look at the kick file mark 1B1. You can find 1B1 on the score sheet catalog at loopdeloops.com. Again, that's loop d loops.com, home of Corbatron Music Publishing. Here we have three dynamic samples to choose from. S is for a soft dynamic attack. M is for a medium dynamic attack. L is for a loud dynamic attack. Each sample is one 4-beat measure in length. Let's write a 4-measure phrase starting with soft, then medium, then loud. Just for fun, let's add some soft and loud together. sort of create a pre-ghost note effect. Next, let's check out some snare files. All of these samples are from a single drum kit. This is to help ensure the continuity amongst the entire sound library. Here you'll see two files. One says sticks and the other says brushes. Let's look at the brush file first. You'll find some sweeps and you'll find some strikes. The sweeps are great for some circle files that are available in the snare digital download available at loopdeloops.com. That's where you'll find a unique jazzy round sound. You really gotta check that one out.
For now, we'll just add some brush strikes. Next, we'll check out the sticks. In here, we find the soft, medium, and loud files as we did in the kick drum. But also, you'll find a file mark with an R. This is a rimshot file. Let's pull this one and paint it in. Now we'll go back and add a few sticks ideas. Medium. And a really loud rim shot here. Loud. These obviously are without any post-production added because to make these mixes your own, that would be best left to you. But for today, let's add some reverb to the snares just to make things fun. Okay, let's hook up some hi-hat. In here, you'll again find a brush file and then a sticks file.
Let's take a look at the brush file. There are different dynamic ranges here too, so let's try a soft brush one. Next, we'll go to sticks and check out the soft, medium, and loud files here. There are no rim shots available in the hi-hat on account that hi-hats don't have rims. Let's put a soft one here and a medium one here. And we'll put a loud with some loud. The deal with these files marked cap is that they contain the continuing decay of the instrument past the end of the original 4 beat measure. This is what it sounds like without the cap. And this is what it sounds like together. You can hear the natural decay of the hi-hat, even if it only lasts a beat or so. There is no reason why anyone can't create authentic studio quality drum tracks with this library. Tracks where you can't tell whether they're played by a session drummer or not. And now you can see dynamically what's available for you as we play them together. Now let's look at the ride symbol file. In here we find again our brush file, sticks file, as well as a file marked special.
now and again you get an Easter egg file marked special like this one. In here we find files marked China, so let's take a listen to some of these. That's just some trashy fun right there. Now let's add some fills. As drummers, we tend to add our fills as one phrase changes into the next phrase. So we will place this fill two beats before the next phrase starts. The fills are only two beats long because most fills are no more than this, but the audio file is still four beats total. This was made to allow for natural decay or ring off of the drums themselves. There is more creative originality when creating a full measure fill of four beats with two selected ideas from this kind of library. Lots of combinations. Now, as you can hear, the hi-hat and other drums are still playing while the fills are being played. Drummers don't have that many hands, so let's remove some audio from these areas and clean it up.
Last but not least, let's dig out a crash symbol to finish this thing right. And there you have it, a complete introduction to the world of Drum Mosaic. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please hit subscribe to our channel to be notified when there's new videos posted. There are already some screen captured ideas there for you to draw ideas from, and I may post a few more later, you might not want to miss those. If you're interested in downloading the Try Before You Buy free sample pack, hit the link below. I'm Tony McBride. Thanks for watching and have a great day.